It is day 137 for the girls and there's a lot of things going on. So I'm going to show you what we're doing. Hi, sweet Annie. Hi, mommy. Hi, girl. You're super pretty. Oh, somebody's still nursing. Oh, that boy will leave you alone, huh? Yeah. So there's quite a few changes in here. My husband built this gate so we can use this as a kidding pen. I put one of these bags that is not my favorite thing in the world for hay, but for, you know, just having babies. Oh my gosh, you guys are so nosy. Hi, I love you, hi. Hi, girl. So anyways, it's a small stall for them, but I think for having babies, they have more than enough room. And then on this other side, that's where the gate is, and this is for her minerals that I have to refill, some baking soda, and water that I just got full of straw. They are sleeping here at the moment, so I have to add fresh straw every morning because I feel like otherwise, you know, the poop piles up. Okay, pregnant ladies, it is time to move on. Oh, oy, oy, oy. it is time. Okay. And this is the other stall. Same thing, bucket with water, the minerals, and baking soda. And then that's pretty much the room that they have for having their babies. Now I know it's a small stall, but I've seen plenty of people that have something this small and it works. The only thing is that made this very <laughs> homemade devices to keep them open because they were closing this at night. Now once they're in labor, they're gonna get in here. I plan to sit right there with all my, my stuff, my supplies and stuff, and she can have all that area. I struggled to find room to put the water and to put the minerals and stuff, but they do need it because I think I'm gonna keep her for about a day, a day and a half in here with her baby so they can bond. And since they're both due the same day, I just don't want any confusion with the kids or any of them rejecting their kids because they didn't bond enough. So, and that's the plan. I was trying to get all the <laughs> webs, spider webs, from the top. Um, I think I've seen a couple more, so I probably had to have to get that done just for my sake, I guess, not for the goat's sake. And we also added some solar lights. I don't know if you can see them there in the back. They're all around the barn or goat shed. They're being loud because they want to get in here. But it was so funny because the night that I turned them on, they were all fascinated by it and they were staring at all the little bulbs. These are the ones that you can get at Costco. I think it's for $30. And so, and we have them in several places, even inside the yurt, and they were great. So we thought we're just gonna have this. I plan to bring another light if they decide to kid at night, which I hope they don't, just to make it a lot more, I don't know, better for me, the lighting situation in here and being able to see what I need to see. So that's pretty much it. Same size on both. Um, we just didn't finish the entire thing up so it wouldn't be completely closed off and dark. And I think this is just all we need. Now for the stuff that I got to set it up, everything was super cheap. I think this are called eye hooks and uh, I think they're about a dollar the hardware store 
So with the drill, just drill a hole and I put this here so I can put both bags. I'm going to put another hay bag here and I'll show you in a minute. But that way I could use the same one for both since I'm going to put them in the corner. And I will. Apparently she's super thirsty. <laughs> and those are drakes. He got drakes, I'll show you that in a minute. They love these dolls, they've been sleeping here. The boys have been sleeping in this one and the girls in this one. I have to say that I that I thought I'd keep this closed but somebody left it open and so all I'm doing is basically putting fresh hay, um, straw every morning when I come and that way I don't have that many flies. We got also this kind of closure at the hardware store and it opens in, yeah, and we can prop it open when we don't need the privacy for the mama. They are all very curious about it, but yeah, what do you think about that? Huh, Clara? What do you think about it, mama? Hey, you and mommy. She's kind of jealous that the girls are pregnant. I don't know how she can tell, but she's been extra needy. And I shared a picture <laughs> that... <laughs> I might catch on the most beautiful girl. I'm boy. Hey, baby, dookie dook. Hey, baby, dookie dook. Hi, baby. Hi, boy. You're so cute. You're so handsome. You're so beautiful, Mocha. So, that is the plan. Um, I keep some soap and water in there and that dirty rag to clean the feeder that they broke yesterday. So I plan to buy a long plastic one to keep there. You having the time of your life? You look very pregnant. I always say that if she was born with us, I would have called her dear, like dear friend, because it's kind of a play on an actual deer. <laughs> You're such a creep. Look at you, man. You're such a creepy boy. You're always speaking out. As I was saying, I am just putting fresh straw every day. I know, probably not cost effective, but I feel like we are in that time of the year where there's a bunch of flies and they really do bother me. So I've been trying to put, so by putting the straw, it covers what attracts them. And even though I still have some, like I'm looking at them right now, maybe four or five in here, they're sitting kind of in the sun area. It is not as bad as when there is poop that is exposed. So it is for sure kind of a solution. Um, in this area, the goats love to be here. Like, I'm gonna show you. Like this is the area where they hang out during the day and then they go in the stalls by themselves at night. So that is pretty much all we do. Look at Mocha. I mean, she is so pregnant right now. And she likes to rub her pregnant belly against everything. Hi. Are you pregnant, Rocky? Oh, you just a fatty boy. Hi, my fatty boy. You're so cute, my baby. Rocky is about to be moved to a new pen. And. You know, the rut season, I've heard it starts around August, and we're just a few weeks away. So, he needs to go to his pen and hang out with his brother. He's right there. Sadly, his brother, Duke, is more attached to Clara than he's attached to Rocky. So, I'm sure it's going to be an adjustment. 
I think if I could find another weather for Rocky, I would because I feel terrible to take Duke away from Clara now. The girls are going to be super happy. Annabelle is like fed up with our boy Dookie Duke. What is it, Mama? You can tell me about it. Is it your babies? Are your babies bothering you, Mommy? Oh, poor Annie. Oh, no way. What happened? Are they being annoying? Are they being super annoying, Mama? You want to talk about it? You too? I'm sorry, Rocky. You need to talk about anything and everything because you're a sweet boy. Me. There you are. And here comes Annabelle. She's gonna get him out of the way. How's your belly, Mama? Is it big? Does it bother you? She's gotten better about touching her babies and feeling for babies. Like she doesn't run away when I move her. She used to. And she's very curious. Look at Monka. See if we can see some baby movement on this side. It is mostly below. The top is breathing. But she's very curious about his butt for whatever reason. Where is a good girl so she gets to go outside without a leash and she goes and eats the trees and you know, that's that's a work in progress. And the weeds and everything. So she waits by the gate just in case that we're gonna I wasn't able to find orchard hay, so I got Timothy, which is orchard and Timothy what I buy. But I don't think they love it that much.